YouTube, what's going on guys? I come to you today with a bit of sad news. Now, in full transparency, it's not all sad news, but you know how they say, there's some good news, there's some bad news. You want the good news first or the bad news? Well, I've always been the type where I want, I opt to get the bad news first. So let's start with the bad news. One of my creations that I created with Novelist to Pop Farms is gone for good. It's gone for good, and you'll never be able to get your hands on it if you did not. And that's, it really hurts me because, look, I don't really look at any of my creations as, you know, being better, one better, being better than the other. That's kind of like trying to pick your favorite child. You know, you just shouldn't do that. <laughs> but with that being said, this one has uh, my namesake and, and a lot of, you know, personal sentimental value. So uh, my fragrance that I did with Novice Serenade, this right here, you guys can no longer get this fragrance. It's gone. For good. And this is not a clickbait. Sincerely, I feel some kind of way about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because of everything that went into it. But I want to talk to you guys about this, my collection. Okay? I'm going to get into some details about it and break them down. And uh, give you guys the good news as well. So, let's talk about it. YouTube, what's good? What's popping, man? It's your boy. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the fashion and style channel. And of course, the main thing we talk about is fragrances. <laughs> so I talk about how you can look good and smell good each and every day. I think they are both equally important. So that's something that's unique about this channel, man. Nobody else is really talking to you guys about how to look your best as well. So if you are interested in looking and smelling your best every day, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well. So that way when I upload new content, you'll get notified. So as I said, guys, on today, I'm going to be taking a deep dive into the five fragrances that I've done in collaboration with Novitas Parfums. Again, one of them you can no longer get, but the other four, I'm going to take a deep dive into them, and you can actually pick them up, talk to the brand, and gotten a special, special discount for my subscribers. Now, this isn't a discount that's going to be advertised or talked about, uh, even or mentioned on the website. It's just for you guys because those of you that have not had a chance to experience the creations that I've done with Novelist Platforms, I want you to be able to do so. And I got a special discount for you. We're going to talk about it. So I'm going to run the intro and when we come back, we're going to be taking a deep dive into my fragrances with Novelist. Keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. First of all, let me tell you guys what this discount is. If you go to Novitis' website and you look at, click on my name, Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and look at all the fragrances I've done in my collection, all right? So with the exception of um, Serenade, which, of course, you'll no longer be able to get your hands on, the rest of the fragrances in my collection are going to go for one. If you buy one, you get 15% off. Two will be 25%. Three, uh, I think it's going to be 40%. And then four, it'll be 50%. All right, so that's going to be on top of an already discounted price. And look, I did this just for you guys. I talked with them about it. I said I wanted to do something for my subscribers because I want you guys, of course, to support me. But also, I want you guys to experience these fragrances because sincerely, they are all absolutely dynamite i don't talk about my fragrances a lot on my channel just to, to feel like people uh, to make people feel like i'm shoving it down their throats but i do want you guys at this point to really go and support me and explore these fragrances especially at this discount and i'll talk a little bit more about the specifics of that later but let's just start guys with serenade which you'll no longer be able to get to me to give to give you guys my insight of my mind when making this fragrance Again, my line name, I pledge the fraternity, Cap Alpha Psi, shout out to the noobs. And my namesake, that was my line name, Serenade. Now, when I designed this fragrance, along with, which was originally called Obad, which is this one right here, which of course, if you guys, especially my new subscribers, if you don't know, 
I had to change the name of this fragrance to Lyric. But the idea behind these two fragrances were one was night and one was day. So a bod is a piece of, uh, basically a piece of music that is normally sung during the daytime. So during the dawn or the earlier parts of the day is an obad. And I feel like this particular fragrance, a signature scent fragrance, was the perfect kind of yin to the yang for serenade. Now a serenade is a piece of music that is normally sung uh, by a man uh, to his uh, lover, his female, in the nighttime, you know, kind of outside, you think about that, ideas of Romeo and Juliet come to mind. But again, a serenade. And this particular fragrance, man, was just what I feel like was extremely creative. There was nothing like this. And I felt like when you're doing fragrances, you want to be unique. And this one was definitely unique. They had, uh, this fragrance had some orange blossom in the opening to give it some freshness. You had, um, see a cognac and dark chocolate accord in the opening which again you don't typically see those notes in the opening of a fragrance but i wanted to do something different so it had that sex appeal to it very alluring scent and uh when it started to dry down you had some vetiver burn here you had some cedar wood some talk of being to sweeten it up as well but this was an extremely uh in my humble opinion creative fragrance and i wish more people would have had a chance to get their nose on this fragrance and to me Again, it's just unfortunate that uh, that you no longer will have an opportunity to, but this was probably one of the most creative um, of all the fragrances. If you're a true niche lover, this would have been the fragrance that I think most of you would have gravitated towards because it was extremely creative, but by that same token, it smelled phenomenal. So the next fragrance, guys, Obad, was the original name of this fragrance. And again, we had to change the name. There was some, we ran into some issues uh, I felt we would have ran into some issues with some copyright stuff. So we changed the name, which it is now called Lyric, but it's the exact same fragrance. And to me, guys, of all the fragrances that I created, I get the most commentary about this one being the people's favorite. This was the signature scent of all the fragrances. This is year round. There is no reason, no season, or on any occasion that this fragrance is bad for. Again, you want to talk about a versatile scent, guys, this is it. And if you don't have this in your collection, this is probably going to be one of your last chances to add it. There's not a whole lot of these left in stock. I'm being 100% transparent. So for those of you that love the scent, you better go ahead and buy yourself a backup bottle. Uh, but for those of you that have not tried it, if you're looking for a signature scent from my collection, I think this and maybe one more I'm going to talk about, Sotorio Nui, will be your options for an amazing signature scent fragrance all right guys so how do you create the perfect signature scent and uh, which is what we did here well you got to give some freshness in the opening i've talked about this before and lyric slash obad opens up with an amazing blast of citrus you get bergamot and lemon in the top and you get some cardamom in there to give it a little bit of a sweet spicy kick which is the perfect pairing with those brighter citrus notes of lemon and bergamot the dry down to me, especially the heart, is really all about two notes, almond and jasmine. That nutty nuance that I love that almond does uh, in fragrances, you get that here. And a very indolent jasmine note as well. And then it dries down, guys. You're gonna get some of those sweeter, I would say uh, kind of gourmand features. You got toffee and cinnamon. I love cinnamon in fragrances, so I know that was a note that I wanted to make sure was in a fragrance that I created and then on the dry down it's really about musk so musk is a note again very uh, in my opinion manly gentleman note that you'll find in a lot of masculine fragrances and I wanted to round it out with some musk and again we are we accomplished the perfect signature scent with lyric slash obad so guys if you don't have this if you're looking for a signature scent get this in your collection man and again this one is called lyric now guys, for the three fragrances from my most recent collaborations with Novitas, we're in the perfect time of the year right now to pick this up. Guys, you've been sleeping on this when I talked to one of my good friends this past week and he said this is a fragrance that gets him compliments all the time. And this is the perfect spring summer fragrance from my collection. This one is called Eau Debonair. Eau Debonair because when you wear this one, guys, you are going to be one of the freshest most debonair dudes on the planet when you put this fragrance on your skin. To me, this fragrance is really about, honestly, florals, musk, and ambroxan. 
Uh, those are some of the main accords uh, that you're going to get in Old Devil Nair. Uh, again, it opens up fresh, you know, again, some florals in there. There's jasmine in here. There's tuberose. Now, the neutralizer in this fragrance is going to be that lavender in the heart. Now, the opening to me is really mostly about that petit grain. I really love petit grain. Petit grain. It's a really fresh uh, floral note. I love that kind of, some people have said baby powder kind of nuance uh, that petit grain provides for a fragrance because it really, to me, it just keeps a fragrance really fresh and clean. So I love the use of petit grain in this fragrance. And when it dries down again, man, you're going to get some musk in this, some benzoin, and you're going to get, um, like I said earlier, that ambroxan in the dry down as well. But this is the perfect signature scent to wear in the spring and summertime. If you don't have Old Devil Nair, and you consider yourself to be a devil nail gentleman, guys, this is something that you gotta get in your collection, man. So go ahead and make sure you pick up O Devil Nail. Now guys, the next fragrance is the other signature scent fragrance. If you're looking for bang for your buck, signature scent, again, year round, any place, anytime, anywhere, I got another one for you. And this is called Sartorial Nui. Sartorial Nui, again, another signature scent worthy fragrance from uh, my collection, my collaboration with Novinus Parfums. The opening of this is about lavender. Lavender, again, a very clean fragrance note. Um, I like to use lavender in fragrances again because I think it's really hard to go wrong with clean. That's what, again, you think about fragrances at the core, it's about smelling good, right? Smelling good, smelling fresh, smelling clean. Lavender tends to do that in fragrances. Keep it very, very clean. So you got some lavender in the scent. You have some orange blossom in here as well. Um, and then on the dry down, man, uh, very soon, shortly into the dry down, sweetness, tonka bean. Another one of my favorite notes, again, my top six fragrance notes, tonka bean is one of those notes. So you uh, very soon, very early into the wearing of Sartori, you know, we, you're going to get some sweetness and that is going to come from tonka bean. Now on the dry down, it starts to get creamy, all right? Creamy and woody. You have a combination of sandalwood, cedarwood. Now you're also gonna get some vanilla in this one as well. Again, creating the perfect fragrance. As I always talk about, fresh, clean in the opening, sweet, woody on the dry down, creates the perfect signature scent that could be worn year round, anytime, any place, anywhere. And that fragrance is of course, Sartorial Nui. And last but not least, guys, anybody that's been following me for any amount of time knows that I love a good gourmand fragrance. So I had to do one gourmand, and we accomplished that and making it unique with this one right here, Divine Aphrodisiac. Divine Aphrodisiac is, as I have coined or termed fragrances, to be a gourmand lover's dream. We accomplished that with this fragrance with a very unique peanut butter accord. Why did I do peanut butter? Because again, I wanted to do something really, really unique. Now, peanut butter doesn't smell, I would say a whole lot different from what you would smell sometimes when there's a cacao or a chocolate accord in a fragrance, which I'm probably thinking is the basis for the peanut butter accord, but it has a little bit more of a nutty nuance to it. So imagine somebody took cacao or chocolate and then put maybe almond in it and kind of mix it together. That's kind of sort of what that peanut butter accord smells like to my nose in Divine Aphrodisiac. But again, we were able to accomplish something that I wanted to do, which was make a unique gourmand fragrance. And again, we were able to accomplish that with Divine Aphrodisiac. Again, I just like to really talk about the peanut butter accord because it's something that was so unique, uh, something that I had never really seen done in a fragrance before. So if you love gourmands, you are totally missing the boat if you don't have divine aphrodisiac in your collection because it is one of the most unique gourmand fragrances that i've ever put my nose on and you guys need to experience it for yourself so guys i'm going to link all these fragrances down below over where you can find these of course at novelistparfums.com like i said the discount that we're running just for my subscribers all you have to do is add the fragrances to the cart and it will update automatically you don't have to put in any codes but Listen, this is what the discount is. Lyric is going for 165 bucks, but that'll be in addition to the discount. So if you buy one fragrance again, you're gonna get 15% off of that fragrance. The other fragrances are listed at a discount of 139 bucks, but you'll get the additional discount on top of that. All right? So 165 for Lyric, 139 for the others, and then you apply the discount 
one fragrance 15% off, two fragrances 25% off, three you'll get 40% off, and if you get all four, it's 50% off, guys. So you'll be able to get really the last four fragrances in my collection for, I don't even know what that is, maybe two, 300 bucks? I'm telling you right now, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it, I didn't do the complete math, but again, you're gonna get these for an extremely uh, discounted price, so why not go ahead and add them to, to your collection while you can, while supplies last. But once we're out, we're out. But that's it guys, that's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this video, I appreciate it if you guys support me and what I do on my channel by heading over to NovelistParfums.com and actually purchasing these fragrances. Go ahead and support your boy. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. But don't forget to make sure you take a few moments, guys, to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.